Oh, you ready? You ready? We're doing the Will Coxon signed rank test. But first, we need a game plan. Woman? The game plan. First, we're going to find D. After we find a D, we're going to ignore the sign. And we're going to rank the differences. Then. We're going to put the signs back on, not any place, we're going to put the signs on the ranks. And we're going to add the positive ranks, and we're going to add the negative ranks, and you do that separately. Then, T is the smaller of the two sums. That's just how we're choosing them. Choosy. N is the number of non-zero pairs. Well, that's the difference of the pairs, that is. And then we're going to determine the test statistic using our table or that formula if our N is bigger than 30. Yeah. Our test statistic is going to be T. Unless N is bigger than 30, then we use the nasty and our critical value comes from our table. Eight. We're going to state a conclusion, Gus. All right. So we want to know whether or not the freshman 15 is real. So they have a pair of matched pairs. What's the freshman 15? Huh? Not going to get into it. We want to use the sign test. So we're going to assume that the medians are the same that the, the median weight in September is the same as the median weight in April. And all our alternatives is that the median weights are different. Okay, so now what? Ah, we found D. The difference is we took September and subtracted off April. And then we took September and subtracted off, subtracted off April. September minus April, September minus April, and that's what that blue stuff is there. That's that D. So, step one, complete. Now, we're going to consider them as if the signs weren't there. And we need to rank them. But we have four ones. So we add up the ranks, one, two, three, and four, and we divide it by four. And that's why all the ones are getting the rank of 2.5. So that's 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 now. Oh, we have three threes. What ranks are we on? We're on ranks five and six. We have two threes, woozies. So I take rank five and rank six, and I average them, and that's why the threes get ranks of five, Point five. Then the next rank is 7, the next rank is 8, the next rank is 9. Fine. We replace the sign. So we replace the signs on all the ranks. The signs of the original numbers onto the rank of that number. We're going to add the positives. That's 2.5 plus 2.5. That's 5. And then we add the negatives. Wilmer did it, so it's on him. So the negatives turn out to be 40. Now, that's a positive 40. Because, yeah. So now T is going to be the smaller of those two. Which one's smaller, the 5 or the 40? The 5. So now we got that T. What are we going to do with that T? That's our test statistics. Yeah, test statistics excite me. Oh, no, no, no. My N is 9. But aren't there 10 pairs? We have to exclude the zero. Yeah, because that's the one that has no difference. <laughs> Let's set up our critical values. We see our critical value is six, and we do that from the chart with n being nine. Which sides reject and which sides fail to reject? Because we chose our t to be the smaller of the two, the left side is reject and the right side is fail to reject. So now what? We need to decide where our test stat goes. Is that to the left of 6 or to the right of 6? 5 is to the left of 6. So we reject the claim that the medians are the same. And what does that mean? Well, I suppose the freshman 15 is real.